The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is the announcement of Derek Tashora vs. Joseph Parker on October 26th. Uh, we're going to get your thoughts on the fight, um, who you're leaning towards. Uh, I'll start this one off with Trevor. second tier, you know, and Chisora is leaning more on, like, he's bordering third tier uh, due to his age and, and things of that nature and the fact that he got knocked out pretty bad by Dillian. But another factor, yo, man, I don't trust none of you UK fighters, man. Like, <laughs> I think Chisora's on the juice, too. I'm pretty sure Parker, obviously Parker believes he's on the juice, hence that's why Parker is the man in uh, he give up a, a blood sample and a urine sample because he's like, yo, listen, all of them are slimy out there in the UK. So, hey, um, if Chisora comes and he fights clean, man, he's in trouble, man. Because, like, Parker, honestly, Parker, he fights like, he has the endurance of, like, a cruiserweight in the heavyweight division. Like, he moves a lot, you know what I'm saying? And like, that's going to be, I think, difficult for Chisora. Chisora is, like, one of those guys, he has, like, to me, he kind of reminds me of, like, what people traditionally call Mexican style. You just stay there and you slug it out. Parker's not that type of fighter. Parker's more athletic. He's going to move around a lot. For Chisora to, to keep up with him, he's going to have to move around a lot. Chisora is older. Yo, he doesn't have that endurance like he used to. He's at a major disadvantage. But I think it's still going to be an entertaining fight because if Parker wants to prove himself, Right? And prove to the world, like, yo, I, I, could, I could bang. If he's foolish enough to, to go hooking with a hooker, then he could be laid out. But if Parker is smart, and if I was Parker's coach or his team, I'd be like, you know what? Fight your fight. Don't fight his fight. Parker's clearly going to win. Oh, yeah. But what you were saying about it's the little guys in the UK that you can trust. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I hope. He ain't heard that. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Dylan, yeah. Dylan, you got the whole division looking at the UK crazy. Yeah, so. no, that's, that's, that's <laughs> what saying. That's that's you got you got that's Reeves that's and Parker that's like. That's like that's 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 I don't know. So. How you feel? You okay? You feel good? I'm handling some business, man. All right, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to make that quarterback? <laughs> So check this out, right? Um, Joseph Parker is a young fighter. Heavyweights don't enter their physical prime until like their early to mid thirties, and so he took an L to Dillian White, um, and he took an L to Anthony Joshua. And you brought up him demanding uh, this drug testing and, 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 and blood and urine, and I think he feels in his mind with this uh, controversy happening with Dillian White, that Dillian White may have been dirty um, in their fight, mm -hmm. and maybe he was cheated. I and so, um, I think he just wants to make sure that this fight's gonna be up and up, 
uh, if you look at it, if he wins against Dillian White, we'd be looking at Joseph Parker differently. We'd be talking about him as like tier two, mm -hmm. possibly tier right. one. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And so I think uh, for him, he realizes that this is a big opportunity for him. Tajoro was knocked out by Dillian White, but um, Tajoro was winning that fight as well. He was mm -hmm. in that fight. And then Dillian just knocked him out cold. And then um, you look at the controversy Dillian had at his fight with Oscar Rivas, where Dillian shows some vulnerability in that fight. He got dropped as well. He said it was because he crossed his feet, but he got dropped, getting drops, getting dropped. So I think uh, Joseph Parker's a fighter with a lot of skills, um, a lot of talent. I think he's a little undersized compared to the bigger guys, but I mean, after seeing what Andy Ruiz has done, there's no reason for me to believe Joseph Parker couldn't give people trouble as well. He's a very skilled fighter. And so I think. He just wants to make sure this is on the up and up. He realizes he's on the last leg of his career um, and he should be entering his physical prime. And so with that being said, to make his resurgence, he just wants to make sure every fight is on the up and up. And I say blood and urine testing. If you clean, take the test. Facts. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. This is the Boxing Room.